Well, good afternoon and welcome to Mondays with Michael live here on Facebook. Um, this is week two of social distancing and for some of you week two working at home. Uh, for many of you week two with the kids at home and it appears that they're going to be home for quite a while. I know some states have already canceled school for, for uh, the foreseeable future. Uh, I want to give you some updates on what's happening here with us in general and then uh, we'll get to our regular Monday stuff which we'll talk about uh, some learning. What can we do with, with, while, we're, while we're at home? Continue learning because who knows how long we're going to be at home for. So let's work on some personal development skills as we're working from home. So just some uh, stuff that's happening around the house here for us. Uh, some of you may notice that uh, I have a little bit of a scruff here. I made the personal decision not to shave during this crisis and uh, see if I can grow in this bad boy. So not sure if I can do that or not. Um, I did have a beard in my early 20s when I was living in Rochester, and that uh, was fun growing in. It's also fun taking it off. So uh, let's see how this plays out. But for now, I'm going to let it grow in. So you may see me later this week, early next week, as I come back here on, on Facebook, and it, you'll see some more scruff as it comes in. Let's save some time, so I have to worry about shaving anymore for a while. Uh, Nikki's been home with us. She's uh, been home for the week. She'll be home with us for, for the foreseeable future. Uh, she does have the ability to work from home, so her company's uh, let, letting all their employees work from home, so she's working from home, and uh, it's actually doing a good job of keeping an eye on mom and dad, and I got to tell you, she's an awesome cook, so she's been cooking food for us, it's tasting great, I think I'm going to gain five pounds here in a, in a, in a week's time, because she's making all this great food for us, great food for us. We have, unfortunately, we work out, we have workout stuff in the house, treadmill, we do online yoga, so we're also trying to work out. We're also walking around the neighborhood, keeping that social distancing, but trying to get out of the house walking. Uh, Sharon and I actually got to go to the grocery store yesterday. We did that 6 to 7 in the morning because we are that age. So we did that 6 to 7 in the morning thing, and um, it actually worked out pretty good. A lot, a lot less people in the store. We were able to pick and choose what we wanted. So how are our clients fearing during this? I'm getting client calls. Um, uh, many of our clients are really teaching their employees how to work from home. This is a new concept for a lot of our clients. Um, and they're doing a really good job. There's a lot of tools, obviously, you can use working at home. Um, and a lot of our clients are going through the teaching process, of getting folks how to work at home, using different technologies to get people to connect, um, and, and trying to help employees work from home. And we're going to help you do that a little bit later that this week also. Um, a lot of our clients are using online training to keep their employees learning. And we're going to talk about that today. We sell a whole suite of online training programs. As a matter of fact, I got a couple of emails today from clients looking to re-up some of their uh, online programs for this spring because they think their employees are going to be home for a while. Uh, a lot of them do compliance training through through online, a lot of the sexual harassment training, diversity training, some supervisory skill training online. Um, I'm going to go through some courses for you individually you may want to think about. Uh, but a lot of our clients are, are building their online capacity. Uh, we also do online disc training for our clients. We've done that over the years. Uh, the partners we work with, Wiley, has given us more tools to deliver that training online. So we will be offering classes online, uh, two-hour sessions, you know, for DISC. We have a lot of clients that use DISC in a big way, and they want to keep that momentum going, so we're helping them. I have a couple calls this week with clients on some of the things they can do with their online DISC training classes, and again, we're offering clients to do the same. So there's that online training that still goes on. But what can you do to keep learning? What can you do to keep learning? Um, for me, myself, I, you know, we've, I've been working out of the house for 25 years. Um, later this week, we're going to do a session on the top 10, tip, top 10 tips from working from home. I'm going to put together a list of top 10 tips that I've learned over the years working from home. Uh, many of you have seen this actually do work from home all the time, and you know most of these. But for some of you that may be new working from home, we want to share some things that uh, we've learned over the last 20 plus years of working from home. So we're going to do that session for you probably later on in the week. But part of my learning involves, you know, obviously going to conferences and such, which will probably be the later postponed, I go to ATD, I've been to SHRM. Um, there are a lot of conferences around the Beltway or events around the Beltway. We continue to learning skills, whether it's selling, whether it's a new technology. Um, you need to keep yourself up on what's going on. So uh, there's that always that face-to-face -face learning, but I actually do quite a bit of um, webinar learning. I mean, there are a lot of places that you can pick up stuff online. Again, I'm an ATD member. They offer a lot of stuff online. When I was a SHRM member, they offer a lot of stuff online. So there's a lot of stuff you can learn online, and you'll see probably more of that happen because uh, I don't think this whole online thing is going away. A lot of people that I'm talking to in the business community and in the learning community feel that uh, we went through this whole 
you know, big increase of online learning when the web was really big. And then it kind of came off for a while because folks really prefer that social interaction. And we get that, and they'll still be around. But I think this whole online thing isn't going to go away, whether it's working from home, uh, coordinating from home, doing team work from home, or learning from home. So I think this is going to be around a while. I think we'll probably have to figure out a little more what to do, but I think this is going to be around a while. So again, like we did last time, I do want to give you some of the more popular courses that we offer that we can push out to either you individually, your employees while they're, while they're at home, if you want feel that they want to, you know, you want to get them some learning while they're at home. I mean, I know the payroll is a big thing and we got to keep people paid and whatnot. And, you know, uh, there's a bit of a crunch right now in deciding where to spend your money. But if, it, but if you do have some training that you're planning and it's already budgeted and you want to keep that training going on, uh, we have some online learning courses at very low cost that can help people continue learning. So again, I'm just going to read off a list of these and some of the highlights of the programs. Uh, we, our, best, our best diversity program, we get a lot of great feedback from our clients, is leveraging, leveraging the power of inclusion and respect. And it really teaches the employees, um, you know, this whole unconscious bias and how that works in the workplace and how, that, uh, how employees need to learn about more respect of each other and inclusion of each other, hidden biases, it goes through gender, gender identity, gossiping and joking, all that stuff that shouldn't happen in the workplace. But it's also a knowledge, you know, you have to have this knowledge, you have to understand this a little bit. So it's a really good program to do that. It's a 45 minute, all these programs are 45 minutes or less. So you can watch these programs uh, 45 minutes or less. On uh, the right side of the line, creating a respect, respectful and harassment free workplace. Again, a 45 minute program. We do a lot of online training. This whole Me Too movement has really emphasized the importance of, a, of the harassment free workplace. Uh, a lot of our companies use this as an employee orientation tool to really let people know uh, what's expected from them in the workplace. And again, it's a 45 minute program. It goes through the, all the harassment, do's and don'ts. Um, don't do this, don't do this. If you see this happen, do this, do this if you see it happen. So, um, you know, it, it's very, very important that people understand what's what they can do and what they should do when they see it. Uh, another popular program is Peer Today, Boss Tomorrow, Navigating Your Challenging, uh, Changing Role in the Workplace. Um, it helps new managers get up to speed. A lot of managers that we work with were team members and now bosses. This particular program really helps a new supervisor navigate the changing relationship between being a teammate and being a boss. Again, a 45-minute program. Uh, next one is Act with Integrity, Real Situations for Discussion. Everyone wants employees to be ethical at work, and we do sell several ethical training programs for employees. Uh, this one gives you real situations for discussion. Employees will watch the situation, watch the scenario, and then make a decision. How would you react? How would you behave in this situation? Again, a 45 minute program. Uh, another one, we see a lot of conflict in the workplace. We have a lot of conflict tools. This one's called Conflict Clock. Take time to resolve conflict in the workplace. It really talks to individuals about addressing conflict, um, not getting upset, not fighting, really how to deal with conflict in the workplace to make it um, uh, make it a non-confrontational situation. Again, uh, so it's only a 35-minute program, very easy, a lot of great tips and good information. And then the next two are really for you, really for you, for you. Work smart, how to get along, get noticed, and get ahead in the workplace. It's a 30-minute program. Uh, success isn't about the job you do, it's about how you do the job, communicating effectively, working with others, being a good teammate, all things that are really, really important in the workplace. Again, this is a 30-minute program, really something you can look at your desktop and, and pick up a few tips for you, for you. And then the last one in this run is Attitude, the choice is yours. <laughs> Attitude, the choice is yours. Read English, Michael. Uh, it's a new course designed to help you control your life. So you know, as you know, added, your attitude controls your life, having a great attitude. This gives you a whole bunch of tips on how to really control your attitude. And by controlling your attitude, uh, you control what happens in your life. So. Uh, so those are my tips today. I'm going to put a, a link to some of those programs uh, wherever you're seeing this in the message chat area so you, some, you can see those courses and then a link that actually can preview those courses online. So uh, later this week, we're going to do the top 10 tips on working at home. We're going to put together a list for you, things we've learned over the years about working from home. Uh, but I do wish you, you know, stay safe, stay separated. Um, make sure you help local restaurants, local businesses. We've been doing a lot of that, having stuff being delivered by DoorDash and just, you know, picking up stuff on the side of the road. So just help those local businesses is very, very, very important. Again, this is Mondays with Michael Live here on Facebook. Thanks for hanging out today. And uh, we'll see you later on the week, and we'll see you next month. Take care. Bye.